last September 30. My precious friend, Maka Alexievich, everything is over, my lot is cast, I don't know what it will be, but I am resigned to God's will. Tomorrow we set off. I say good-bye to you for the last time, my precious one, my friend, my benefactor, my own. Don't grieve for me. Live happily, think of me, and may God's blessing descend on us. I shall often remember you in my thoughts, in my prayers. So this time is over. I bring to my new life little consolation from the memories of the past. The more precious will be my memory of you, the more precious will your memory be to my heart. You are my one friend. You are the only one there who loved me. You know I have seen it all. I know how you love me. You are happy in a smile from me and a few words from my pen. Now you will have to get used to being without me. How will you do, left alone there? To whom am I leaving you, my kind, precious, only friend? I leave you the book, the embroidery frame, the unfinished letter. When you look at those first words, you must read in your thoughts all that you would like to hear or read from me, all that I should have written to you, and what I could not write now. Think of your poor Varenka, who loves you so truly. All your letters are at Fedora's in the top drawer of a chest. You write that you are ill, and Mr. Bikoff will not let me go out anywhere today. I will write to you, my friend, I promise, but God alone knows what may happen. And so we are saying good-bye now forever, my friend, my darling, my own forever. Oh, if only I could embrace you now. Good-bye, my dear, good-bye, good-bye, live happily, keep well. My prayers will always be before you. Oh, how sad I am, how weighed down in my heart. Mr. Bikoff is calling me. Your ever-loving V. P.S. My soul is so full, so full of tears now. Tears are choking me, rending my heart. Good-bye. Oh, God, how sad I am. Remember me, remember your poor Varinka.